Say your manager comes to you and asks, of all our machines, how much disk space do they have? Do they have enough disk space to upgrade to Windows 11 and maybe later uh, Windows 12? Or maybe your manager asks, hey, the hard disk that we have, is that enough? Can I order more of the same models that we have? Or do we need to buy more disk space on them? So you're going to be able to answer that within five minutes. We're going to show how. So let's get into it. So let's go into the engine portal. I do Windows R for run. And it's already there. But if we do uh, HTTPS and we do my favorite AKA dot ms n i n take us to the console so when we spoke about the disk space earlier uh, that you you might need 64 gigabyte it doesn't really require that so we can see how many of my devices uh, are supporting this so we will have to go under devices when we're in the portal we can do all devices I have a few uh, uh, Linux, they unfortunately don't report the disk space. So if we go here under hardware, you see that it says total storage space, zero bytes and uh, free space zero. But I have three Windows machines. So if we click on one of these and then go on the hardware tab, we'll see that the total storage is uh, around 100 gigabyte and free is 75. So it have used the uh, 25 gigabyte but we want this in a report so we can go back to uh, all devices and there are many ways we can export all data but maybe that's a bit too much uh, in this case it isn't but in a bigger organization so we can also choose this in the um, column so it was called they are not next to each other free storage I click on that one we get the column and the other one is something like total storage. And it's pretty nice to know primary user, but ownership I can skip. Uh, we don't really care about OS either, right? Managed by Intune. Let's check in. Normally it's nice, but for this video I remove it to have it less uh, free storage. We definitely want compliance. I don't care about either. Device name has to be. So if we export here, we get the, the total storage and the free storage. So let's click on export here and we get two questions. So since we added the two columns, uh, free storage and total storage, we can do the included selected columns. If we didn't do that, we could include all inventory data. So b both works, but I prefer this one. So yeah, we click yes here. It's going to take a little while for this to come. It's going to be... Uh, zipped compressed file okay so here it is finished open it's compressed well i open it uh, directly here in excel the csv file and hopefully in your organization you see more and those who show zero here are the linux devices i'm gonna delete them so if we look here, device ID, I'll delete that as well. That's not so important. Device name, that's nice. OS, why not? The version, primary user we can keep, total storage. So here we see the total storage and free storage. That's pretty good. We could also put one for maybe used storage. Storage. And then we do, this not going to be an Excel course for many reasons. But we can do an equal, uh, this one, and then do minus the free storage. So if we take the total storage and remove what's free, we should have the used storage, right? And these numbers aren't so friendly to give uh, to your manager. Uh, we probably want, this is in uh, mega, let's do it in uh, giga, so we can uh, get the total storage gigabyte and let's do the same we are more interested in free uh, storage because we wanted to have at least uh, 64 to ensure a Windows 11 update well these are Windows 11 already but if they were Windows 10 we pretend it's uh, Windows 12 not released yet at this video 
And here we say uh, used, it seems storage, go lowercase. Well, we can put what we want. Well, I, I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't do it here. So total storage in um, gigabyte. So we do again equal sign. We take this one and we divide by 1024. And I'm not going to go into uh, why it's uh, 1024. It has to do with uh, one byte is eight bits and uh, all that. Uh, so we copy this formula down here and we can do the same with free storage. And copy that one. And we can do the same with the usage, used storage maybe. Yeah, not usage. Doesn't really matter, right? But, and we take this one and now we get it in gigabyte and this also doesn't look so nice. Let's hide these three here. Can keep them, but, and let's see if we can't do a two, two comma should be enough. So we click on this one, we could format it. Yep, this I like. We could even do it lefty or middle. Middle looks nice. So uh, for example this one is less than uh, 64. I mean we could also do, um, let's see if I can do that, uh, can upgrade to, uh, I'll do Windows 12 even though it doesn't exist, and then we'll have to do uh, something else. We can do, see if I can do that even. So we do if, and here we need to do um, condition, right? Logical test. Let's see if this value here is, uh, um, uh, let's see. Uh, we can do le less than 64. If that's the case, then we can say uh, no, maybe I need that in quotation, no upgrade, and if not, upgrade, uh, upgrade, yeah, something like that. So this one can upgrade because uh, it has, uh, the value have less than, uh, is uh, bigger than 64, well, it's less than, so it's false, so uh, do an upgrade. The logic is maybe not that great, but it works. So we, we could have, maybe it's, it makes more logic to do uh, larger than, and then change share to upgrade. Both works, but uh, in the logic, uh, no upgrade. And I copy that one. So now we can save this file. It's already saved, but it's in the CSV file. Let's save it as um, Excel. So nice name, no. I put it in Excel. Uh, let's put this somewhere. Um, maybe not here. Let's go up. Uh, we can go to, well, well, I'll put it on desktop. And let's call it uh, today's date. Uh, devices, uh, devices uh, we devices uh, disk space info. I'm sure you have a better name than what I came up with here. Now we have a file which we can send to our manager. You can see which machines have can be upgraded and also see a bit the usage. Okay, so to have a hundred gigabyte of disk, that's good. This one seems to have a smaller, around the 80 limit. I think still this one would be able to upgrade, but it's good to know how much disk space you have. So now, do you want to save? Sure, I don't think I did that huge uh, difference. So if we go on my desktop here, I have this file, I send it to my manager and say, hey, here you have the data that you requested. This data, you can automate it also with MS Graph. That could be another video. So you query MS Graph and you save this file or you alert on certain value. That's much possible. This is a manual process if you just want to know free disk space.
Thank you very much for following along this video. Have a great day.